Question 1. Which area on the diagram shows the subduction zone? A1, B2, C3, D4. Question 2. The map below shows some of the major tectonic plates on Earth. What process is forming high non-volcanic mountains at location 1 on the map? A. One tectonic plate is splitting apart into two plates. B. Two tectonic plates are colliding and pushing together. C. One tectonic plate is sliding past another tectonic plate. Or D. Two tectonic plates are colliding and one is sliding under the other. Question 3. The map below shows the location of the Great Rift Valley in East Africa. The Great Rift Valley started forming millions of years ago. It slowly continues to deepen and widen, causing many volcanic eruptions and earthquakes in the area. In a million years, what is the most likely geologic feature that will have formed where the Great Rift Valley is now located? A. An inland sea. B. A mountain range. C. A new continent. Or D. A new forest. Question 4. Use the diagram below to answer the following questions. Based on the diagram, which process explains why less dense, hot magma rises to the surface to displace denser, cooler magma? A. Conduction. B. Diffusion. C. Radiation. Or D. Convection. Question 5. A geologist is studying an area after an earthquake. She notices that two streams have changed course. What would most likely explain the movement of the stream? A. A stream runs across the fault in a rift zone where two plates are diverging. B. The stream runs across a hot spot far from any tectonic plates. C. The stream runs across a transformed fault that was offset by the earthquake. Or D. The stream runs across a subduction zone where two plates are converging. Question 6. Which of the following discoveries is evidence supporting the idea of continental drift? A. The discovery of matching plant and animal fossils on different Earth continents. B. The discovery that most earthquakes are near plate boundaries. C. The discovery that rock age increases as distance from the mid-ocean ridges increases. Or D. The discovery of seafloor rock patterns due to magnetic reversals. Question 7. The Aleutian Trench is an underwater feature near Alaska formed by the movement of two tectonic plates. As the North American plate moves towards the Pacific plate, the lower edges of the Pacific plate becomes part of the man mantle. Which geologic event often occurs along crustal plate boundaries? A. Glacial erosion. B. Delta formation. C. Volcanic activity. D. Sand dune formation. Question 8. Look at the figure below. Which explanation best summarizes the hypothesis shown in the figure? A. The continents were once a single landmass named Pangaea. B. The continents were one large landmass named Pangaea, which began to break apart and drift toward the present-day locations of the continents. C. The continents were once one large landmass, but the north and south magnetic poles pulled the continents apart toward the poles. D. The continents were one large landmass, but the ocean levels rose and these oceans separated today's continents. Question 9. On the map below, dark circles indicate the positions of volcanoes in the ring of fire in and around the Pacific Ocean. Dark lines indicate the tectonic plate boundaries of Earth's crust. Map showing positions of volcanoes in the ring of fire in and around the, ocean, the Pacific Ocean. According to this map, which of the following describes where the volcanoes are most likely to form in the ring of fire? A. Volcanoes form in the middle of the tectonic plate. B. Volcanoes form below the surface of the tectonic plate. C. Volcanoes form where tectonic plates meet, each, meet other plates. Or D. Volcanoes form where earthquakes are least likely to occur. Question 10. The African plate is moving toward the Eurasian plate. What will most likely happen if this moving, movement continues for many million years? A. Volcanoes will form and erupt at the plate boundary. B. The Mediterranean Sea will shrink and mountains will form. C. The African plate will force the Eurasian plate to break into several pieces. Or D. The size of the Mediterranean Sea will increase and mountains will form on both sides.